I'm Natalia Strozzi. I'm Irina Strozzi. We are the last living descendants of the Mona Lisa. Meet the Strozzi sisters, who say they are the direct descendants of one of the most recognizable faces in art history. But are they really the descendants of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa? There is a lot more mystery to the Mona Lisa than her enigmatic smile. Art critics have been wondering for centuries who was behind her face. Some say it's just the image of an ideal woman. Others believe it's Leonardo's self-portrait. Another theory is that the Mona Lisa was the wife of a silk merchant. Our grandmother used always to say us uh, about this connection. So we never really focused on it until a friend and historian, uh, Domenico Savini, decided to, to really make a research in our archives. And from that moment, actually, it came to, our, to us that actually we are connected to one of the most known women, women in the world. The Strozzi are an ancient noble family from Florence and in the Renaissance were as powerful as the Medici. But one relative that stands out in their family tree is Mona Lisa. And her real name was Lisa Gerardini del Giocondo, wife of Francesco del Giocondo, who was, um, at the time we would say, businessman. That's we why she is called La Gioconda, because she married Mr. Giocondo. Rob Hatfield held seminars on Leonardo at Syracuse University in Florence for 15 years and spent three of them researching the Mona Lisa in the city's archives. He says that the evidence of this theory was uncovered in the library of the University of Heidelberg in Germany 20 years ago. In which an ancient text uh, came to light with a marginal annotation written by a secretary of the Florentine Republic who was acquainted with Leonardo, in which he complains about the way in which Leonardo never finishes his paintings, and one of the paintings that he mentions is the Lisa del Giocondo. Leonardo's father was a notarius and he used to work with Francesco. So they were already friends. So it's nothing like extremely impressive. You know, the husband asks Leonardo to paint, his friend to paint a portrait of his wife. I can tell you with complete certainty that the sitter in Leonardo's famous portrait is in fact Lisa del Giocondo. So Natalia and Irina can be certain that this in fact is their ancestor. But how did the painting end in France and not in Italy? Leonardo started to paint the Mona Lisa in 1503. It became one of his favorite works and he continued to add to it as time went by, to the point that he even took it with him when he moved from Florence to Paris where it was sold to the King of France, but only after Leonardo's death in 1519. Uh, Mona Lisa is um, legitimately hanging in the Louvre. And of course, we went to visit our grandmother many times. And the la last times actually that we went there, after also all these articles uh, about our relationship with her came out, we came back to see her, to visit her, and it was a different emotion. We, it's our great-grandmother, we have the same blood actually uh, running in our veins, of course, um, it gives a lot of emotions and of proud as well. Irina and Natalia have made a path of their own besides being the descendants of La Gioconda. They were ballerinas, went into acting and are now concentrating on the family business that was started in the 13th century. In our place in our estate, which is here in the heart of Tuscany, and which goes back to 994. Mainly we produce wine and many people visit us because of our connection in, in art because, or the story of the family. Thanks to the friendship between uh, um, Francesco del Giocondo and Leonardo da Vinci, uh, we have this incredible portrait. <laughs> 